I'm really looking forward to that stage where we're just like figuring out how to be parents mm. and we've got <clears> this <throat> cute little baby and it's just like me and you doing our thing. Mm, I'm so excited. Look how beautiful this is. <laughs> how do you feel, babe? I'm pretty excited. <laughs> And I just felt so extremely tired all the time. And I've been getting those pains I was telling you about. And I get so like something's wrong. And this is a formula that you will use for the rest of your life. and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this vlog because we are here at the Beachmont Chalet, our little hinterland holiday house to do our gender reveal. So I was 16 weeks on Thursday and we've kind of been waiting because this place is, gets very booked out. So we picked a weekend and we really wanted to do it here. Just me and Tim, super special. Of course, I will show you guys. Uh, but before I get into the vlog, I do just want to do a quick shout out and thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. You guys know they are a continued uh, loved sponsor on my channel. And basically Squarespace does websites or domains. So if you are someone who you need a website for your small business or you want to create a blog or you want to do an online digital download, um, they're such amazing place. My very first website was on Squarespace. So easy to use, you know, I'm not tech savvy. Uh, they make it simple. They make it really cute. Um, I'll put a little thing here of my website. Yeah, just such a good platform to have your own space, to do your own thing. Because they are sponsoring this YouTube, I do have a 10% off code, code for you. I will chuck it here and you can go in my description and check them out if you need that. Uh, but yes, I am so excited. I am the most impatient person. So we just wanna find out what this little baby is. And I thought I'd also do a Q&A for this vlog too. Um, so Tim, do you want to come over here and answer our first Q and A question? Welcome to the tube. Hello. Oh, the puppies want oh, to come. Hello. Get off the couch. Mwah. Get off. Mwah. All right. So first question Mwah. is, what do you think we're having and which gender would you prefer? Yeah, I am a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're having a girl and... I would like a boy, but I'm happy with a girl as well. <laughs> so, Tim, the whole pregnancy has been like, we're having a girl. Like, I just have this intuitive feeling we're having a girl. Um, and because I have been quite unwell, oh my God, guys, literally on Friday morning, I went for a walk with a girlfriend and I have been vomiting, but just like very off and on. And I felt a bit nauseous, but I was like, oh, I won't vomit. I just need some food. And I find if I'm eating, as long as I eat, I don't vomit. And so she got a coffee and I got some banana bread, had that. We were mid walk, like on the pathway in the middle of Burley, which is like very busy on a Friday morning. And I literally like vomited, like walked to the side near the grass, like not on the path, on the grass and vomited in front of everyone in a public place. <laughs> it was disgusting. And it was like heaving, vomited, vomited up my banana bread. And you had a coffee, didn't you? Yeah, and I just had to like do that and just keep walking and just pretend it didn't happen because I was just like... It's nasty. Nasty. Um, so because I have been sick, for example, my mum, she didn't vomit with my three brothers, but she did vomit with me. And they do usually say genetics is similar. Um, so at the start, I was like, it's a boy. 
I grew up with three brothers, like, you know, Tim, two boy puppies. I feel like I hold a lot of masculine energy. I'm like, it will be a boy. I know it. Uh, but since being sick and then also the way my tummy is showing lots of people are like you're having a girl for sure. So I don't know, like I would lo love to have a little girl. Uh, just, I feel like every girl would love to have a little girl. I think also for me, I'd love to have a little girl because I'm so into like female empowerment and self-development and I'd love to teach her to be a little boss queen no, like me. No, a little boss queen. <laughs> feel sorry for Tim, but... No, she's gonna play golf. <laughs> Oh, but you may, yeah, so I don't know. I would be so happy with either. After the journey we have had, I'm like, whatever gender, it doesn't matter. But so true. Yeah, we'll see. I'd be so happy with either. Little cute girl or a mini Tim would also be cute. Babe, don't you think a mini me would be cute? <laughs> Why are you not would, saying anything? It would hmm? be super cute. But go the boys. <laughs> This is our current situation. Why team's going to the toilet. We've got our fire going. Oh, I just, I can't get over this view every time we come here. It's literally like a bloody dream. Look how beautiful this is. And the puppies are here. Hello. Hi. Are you boys cold? It's freezing, isn't it, Bear? It's freezing, but you got a little jumper on. So I'm just having some energy tea, uh, which is actually our newest product to Naked Harvest. We have a whole range of wellness teas, which are basically like herbal remedies all natural herbal remedies that are going to help with everyday health issues. So we have an energy tea, we have a calming nighttime tea, we have a bloating tea that really helps with easing bloat and digestive issues and just get getting everything like down, if that makes sense. And we also have a period tea that has um, anti-inflammatory properties that help soothe uh, your stomach and yeah so I'm so excited personally energy tea has literally been a life changer for me since being pregnant I'm so glad I can finally tell you guys about it uh, when this vlog goes live it's already launched so I can tell you uh, but I love making like a big pot in the morning and yes it is pink I really need to get some tea cups at Beach Mom literally is like so citrusy and yummy and i don't know it tastes so good and it's kind of replaced uh my second coffee or my pre-workout just an fyi with our naked harvest supplements so i'm still taking the greens powder which is just amazing to get veggies in because i've hated vegetables like that's something i'd be really off i'm still taking our thrive plant protein um, I'm having it in my oats. Uh, the only thing my doctor was worried about with Thrive was maca powder. But when I got the actual amount from our food tech, it wasn't, it's not actually enough to do anything. Um, so she was happy with me taking Thrive protein. I take the moon milk. Again, this, <laughs> Tim's vacuuming. I take the moon milk. I take the collagen because when you're pregnant, baby takes all your collagen and is using up a lot of your collagen which is often why people feel like really kind of like you know that whole thing like your baby's taking your beauty it's because they're using up all your shit i guess but i just want to say with the nh products i'm using what we do recommend is you always need to get advice from your healthcare practitioner on if you can take them if it's safe for your pregnancy because just because it's safe for my pregnancy doesn't mean it is for you so i just really want to like make sure you guys know that all right guys we are getting ready gender reveal very soon i'm trying not to show because i am naked but want to give a quick shout out to my glory oil 
as you can see my skin hates winter it gets so dry and that's why i break out and get cold sores so glory oil is from eco tan i've been using it for over two years i started using it with my acne scars because i get i have i've had really bad acne maybe three times and it's just really helpful. It's all natural. And I find I have like the most amazing uh, results from it. I've also been using, I don't know why my fingers like that, glory oil on my under boob scars. So as you guys know, I got my implants out in November last year after my miscarriage. So I had uh, more scars. And I will show you a photo, I'll put it here. You can see scars have like reduced so much so much redness and i use this maybe three or four times a week on my scars amazing results i've just put it on my nose to get it up and i also love putting this on to get my skin really glowy and then you know in winter when your skin's really dry and then you put makeup on you are just like looks shit i love this because it makes my skin so soft and so glowy and then i put makeup on and it just feels amazing and also while we're here so this is my bag i also use their kikeo tanning mousse this is one hour tanning mousse and i honestly swear by this uh if you guys ever wondered what tan i use again using this for over two years cannot recommend enough and face tan water i haven't got much of this on at the moment but basically a tan for your face cannot recommend these products enough and also guys quickly with eco it is all natural, organic. Now, like you guys know, I've always been into that, but now especially because I've got a little baby in my stomach, don't know the gender yet. Um, it's just very important for me to make sure I'm putting natural stuff on my skin because our skin is an organ. It's our biggest organ. It ingests everything. So if you have chemicals and nasties and crap that goes in your system, your system has to deal with it. Baby has to deal with it. Not a great time. So uh, love Eco because you just know whatever product you get from them. Uh, it is completely natural. And as I'm in best of them, I do have a code if you need it. It's for a whopping 20% off. Um, I will chuck it here and link the products I've used in the description. But honestly, guys, for winter, for acne scars, any like problematic skin, Glory Oil is like God sent. God sent, swear by it. All right, guys, this is what I'm wearing. Just cash. It's just me and Tim. I actually can't remember where I got this dress from. I've got a feeling it's Princess Polly. It's quite old, but, but perfect for the bump, lots of room, and just wearing a little Nick Cardi, but... <gasps> I'm so excited. I just cannot wait to know and connect and <sighs> so excited. You pumped? Hello, sweetie. You look pretty. Thank you. I got my white gear on too. I got my white gear on. had some time to debrief and soak it in. <laughs> Can I have a jimmy? Um, guys, we're gonna be girl parents. We're gonna be girl parents. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. I am I'm, pretty excited. I'm so excited. Mm. It feels really bloody exciting. And now we know the gender. And now we can start connecting mm. and buying nursery furniture. Mm. That was and, amazing. Mm, we haven't bought anything. So I got this room in the house. It's like it's just like the shit room basically. Um, <laughs> it's literally full of shit. And I was just like literally been waiting to see mm. what gender it is. So mm. So we can start planning. Yeah. Um yeah, so a little baby girl to join us in November. Very body excited. You're gonna be the best. 
Guilt dad. Thanks, babe. <laughs> You're going to be the guest guilt mom. <laughs> you happy? I'm Guys, Joe. 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 And I obviously like he wanted a boy. <laughs> it's no, all good. I grew up with brothers. I'm in a household with you and the fucking two little puppies. Yeah, and that's true. In all honesty, you know, I grew up with only a brother. I didn't have a sister growing up. Yeah. So. Mm. And I very much think that I always have envisioned having a boy and girl, but having the girl first. Yeah. So next month, boy. But super <laughs> excited for a girl. <laughs> Glad you chucked that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this kitty. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday morning. Tim, stop mumbling. It is Sunday morning. I actually had a really weird sleep last night. We went to bed quite early at 8. Mm, it was early, wasn't it? And then I woke up at 10.30 and I had some really bad stomach pains and it felt like it was like on the bottom of my right side of my stomach and it felt like my skin was like stretching, like the baby was trying to get out. <laughs> and I had to go to it and I like woke up to him. I was like, oh my God, I have the weirdest pain and it kind of like hurt when I moved <clears throat> yeah, um, move yeah it's like hurt it felt like I'm straining it was so weird but anyway it kind of stopped after about an hour but then I didn't get back to sleep until 1 30 a.m mm. um, but let's answer one of our next questions so someone yep. asked what are you looking forward to most about <clears throat> being a dad oh I don't know I was just thinking about this just then I think just like, just, I think, I think like just their cuddles, like cuddling your baby and just mm -hmm. knowing it's yours. I think that's a, probably like, well, not it, but that's probably the most important thing or the most thing I'm looking forward to. And cuddles. Like cuddles. <laughs> like cuddles. Yeah, that's really cute though. What about you? Um, I don't know. I think what we always talk about is like the next adventure, like... I don't know, because me and Tim have been together, we've nearly known each other for 10 years, we've travelled, we've moved houses, we've moved cities, like we've done heaps of stuff together and it's amazing and we have the best time. But I'm just looking forward to that next chapter mm. where we, like me and Tim were saying, like on a Sunday where you kind of do nothing and you go for like a walk and get a coffee but like that's the thing you do of the day because you've got a baby and like yeah. that's what you do you take a baby for a walk you sort of got like a bit more of an excuse to do stuff yeah and like just you know go to the playground and that's like yeah. your event for the day we'll muck um i'm so, so i'm so ready for it mate yeah like just like more chill lifestyle but like you've got the excuse because you've got a baby you're like oh this is what we do now what i'm looking forward to most is that time like that newborn stage because tim is going to be um staying home with me completely Us, oh, sorry not me and uh well our little girl we can say it now so exciting and I'm really looking forward to that stage where we're just like figuring out how to be parents mm. and we've got <clears> this <throat> cute little baby and it's just like me and you doing our thing. Mm, I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but we're just going to have breakfast and then we're going to leave. We actually have a gender reveal today for one of my girlfriends who is literally having her baby. She, her due date is five days after mine, which is crazy um and we get to find out what she's having today um mm. which will be very exciting that's super exciting what do you think she's having i don't know i have a feeling that it's gonna be a boy you have boy vibes yeah uh, all of our vibes. friend group have all it's weird guys so we're having a girl so many of you guys on instagram and all our best friends were like you're having a girl. a girl like, no one was like, it's a boy. No. Like, what? I was like, Everyone had girl vibes. Isn't that the weirdest thing? Mm -hmm. And they were like, correct? Mm. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
Tuesday. Um, yesterday was just a bit of a crazy day because we launched our energy teas, not just our energy teas, excuse me. We launched all our teas. I'm just about to make an energy tea, that's why I said that. Um, so we had a launch yesterday, so I didn't vlog because it was just a bit of a hectic day in the office. Um, but it went really well and everyone's really excited. But I wanted to start my day uh, doing a walk. To answer another question, I've been asked, like, you know, what sort of exercise am I doing? And to be honest, because how unwell I felt in the first trimester, I had to completely stop working out. So, like, you would have seen in my video, maybe you didn't, but my, like, our 12 weeks of our rainbow baby, the first trimester, is... I like was so exhausted and quite unwell. Um, I had morning sickness at all hours of the day and I just felt so extremely tired all the time. And for example, I think I've told you guys, but when I did that NH workout, when we launched our BCAs at the start of the year, we did this like live workout and we did a 30 minutes Pilates workout. Like that was literally it, it was not hard. And it literally, it took me like three days to recover from that. Like my energy was just so low. And I think I told you because of my thyroid and the baby relying on that. In the second trimester, I have been feeling a lot better. Uh, but I do notice if I go too hard, I feel like crap. So I've just been doing walks and maybe a 20 minutes Pilates class every couple of days. And that's on, honestly it. And I'm just so fine with it because as, <laughs> as you guys may know now, me and Tim have been trying for over a year. We had, you know, a heartbreaking miscarriage, a lot happening. And I just am so grateful and happy with having a little baby that a little baby girl, <laughs> is that just not surreal? That I'm just like, oh, if it means I can't work out, I'm really not worried. Also, guys, I've been like hectically working out for 10 years straight. So if I'm gonna take eight months, a year off, like well deserved. Just making my breakfast, I'm still obsessed with raspberry, guys, like fresh fruit, which so many of you were like, um, you're having a girl because you're craving fresh, fresh fruit, but love fresh fruit. Like I could easily have an acai bowl every single meal of the day, even though it's fucking freezing. Um, so I just got my oats, uh, just mixed it in with my Thrive protein. Yes, still having Thrive. Again, I got this approved by my healthcare practitioner and he said, that's all good. The only ingredient he was worried about was maca powder, but there's actually, well, he said for my pregnancy, please like make sure you get it checked with your doctor if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. But for my pregnancy, he was like, um, well, just I guess for a normal pregnancy because I have no complications, uh, that it was the dosage wasn't high enough to affect the pregnancy in any way, even if I was taking it every single day. So he was very happy with me taking Thrive, amazing. Um, so I've been having that, and of course using my Nom nut milk. This is the nut milk I've been like crazy about because it's oat milk, which so funny guys i found this meme i'll put it here and it's like i've had more pressure to try oat milk than to try drugs or something like that and i'm like this is me on my youtube channel 
to my poor audience being like, you must try oat milk. And I've got the whole office onto it, like obsessed, but this is oat milk plus nut milk. So this one is macadamia dream and there's two other flavors. Um, I just get mine from Woolies. So yeah, now available in Woolies from Pure Harvest. You guys know I love Pure Harvest because they're an Aussie company. They're all natural, no crap and really simple ingredients like if i look at this it's filtered water organic oats macadamia nuts sunflower oil sea salt that is literally it if you've got ingredients halfway down the page and it's like you know supposed to be dairy free milk like yeah anyway obsessed and then raspberries oh coconut yogurt i just used the koyo and raspberries obsess with i'm just about to have a shower get in my work yeah go to the warehouse before i do i've got to show you this jacket i think i've shown you a couple of vlogs but living in this in the cold weather queensland it doesn't get co that cold but there's like a good two or three months where it's like freezing i know it's worse in other states and countries of course um but this lskd jacket is amazing i am wearing a size six it is quite oversized and also guys okay so these tights so these tights guys are called the rep tights they are so comfortable they've got a pocket like literally most comfortable tights ever and on the lskd website there's actually like thousands of reviews on these certain tights so when they said they were going to send them to me for me to try i was like oh okay like there was so much hype about it i get it I bloody get it, like most comfortable tights. Super just like, you know, they're black, they're chill, they do come in other colors. Um, so I will link these two. And of course I do have a code for you guys. Um, and as you guys probably have noticed, I am no longer an exclusive Gymshark athlete. My contract has ended with them all on good terms. It was just time. I just kind of rearranged a lot of my partnerships with Bub on the way and not having as much time and that sort of thing. Um, and so I'm very excited to announce that you'll obviously see me working with other activewear brands. I have decided that I don't want to be exclusive to one brand, which just means that I can show you whatever brand I want. There's no constraints or anything like that. Um, and I'm very excited because I've worked with LSKD just with their lifestyle stuff for a very long time. So I was very excited that I can actually tell you about their like activewear and everything like that because I know how amazing it is. So very excited, little LSKD there. To get changed, so are you ready? the heartbeat okay and um, you notice some uh, hands this is one arm and that's actually the other arm coming up there so I went to my OB appointment and baby is all good baby is healthy uh, I'm really glad that we're going private for the pregnancy probably not the birth which was another question you guys had um, but just for me personally so when you go private you get a lot more checkups and scans and i don't know i just get so even like i've been getting those pains i was telling you about and i get so like something's wrong something's wrong with the baby and so i think for me to be able to call my doctor get in an appointment and just like see baby heartbeat no it's all good has just it's definitely what i need personally to like mentally get through it and also that ob that we we saw did our iui transfer so we didn't do ivf we did iui and i do explain this all in a podcast if you're interested on why we did it how much it costs um how it's different to ivf why we tried that first not ivf um and you just just a lot more details of like how long me and tim were trying before because i definitely was not open with you guys because tim just wanted to keep it all private all right 
I totally forgot to add this in the vlog. So this is like a random video. I'm just recording a podcast. Wolf! Also guys, 17 weeks today. Look at that big belly. Uh, so I forgot to say this in the vlog guys, but I am opening the next and last round for 2021. Yes, that's the year. Um, for my Rise and Conquer project, which is my six week self-development and manifesting course. So this course uh, launched in 2020 and has since like changed thousands of women's lives. I have so many beautiful testimonies. I have so many amazing stories of women who have done this course and it has completely changed the tra trajectory of their life and really quantum leaped them into their next level self. So guys, if you like any of my self-development stuff that I talk about, I don't do a lot on here. It's mostly the podcast. But if you like my vibe, if you, you know, like if you see me in my holiday house and you're like, what the hell? How does this girl own three houses before she was 25 um, and two, you know, uh, <laughs> two very successful two very successful businesses. I feel weird like bragging about myself, but it's true. Um, so if you ever like watch my stuff and you wonder about that sort of stuff, that is because I am deep. I am deep into self-development and manifesting. And I created this course because I was kind of not over, but I used to get so many DMs being like, how do you do it? Like, teach me your ways. And what I say to people is like, I'm not special. Literally five years ago, four or five years ago, I was in a job I hated. I was doing things I didn't like doing. I was posting bikini pics on Instagram. I had no substance to my life. Whereas now I fucking wake up every single day and love my life. I have the most amazing husband. I have, you know, I live at the beach. Like I'm really living my dream life. And your dream life is going to look so different, but let me help you get there because I have this formula. I teach it to you in six weeks. And this is a formula that you will use for the rest of your life. It is completely life-changing. I honestly don't talk about it a lot on YouTube because every round that opens up sells out so fast because um, I do have limited spots because I am I go through the course with you in the six weeks. I'm in the Facebook group with you. Um, you know, any questions, I want to make it very like intensive and supportive so you get that transformation. Uh, but we are launching this for the very last round because of bub coming so i was planning to do one in september but i'm not anymore so if you are keen if it's calling your name if you're kind of like oh i want to know more go to my website so much information or dm the rise and conquer podcast face um instagram page and me or my podcast manager will get back to you. Uh, but yeah, last round of the year, last time you can do the project. Mm. Honestly, life-changing. I really don't need to say much more. I know this round is going to sell out. So if you want to come join us, uh, please do. I would absolutely love to have some of my YouTube fam in the project because it is my favorite thing. Like we do live calls. Uh, everything is online. So it doesn't matter if you're in a different country and you have a module unlocking weekly. Weekly, You have training videos, workbooks. I teach you all my ways. I'm in the Facebook group, group with you. It's just, you can see my vibe like getting higher because I fucking love it. Um, so come join me. I'll put a link in the description. Cannot wait. Bring up, oh, I forgot to say this. So enrollment is 28th of June. So be there or be square. And we start on the 11th of July, but you do get lifetime access to the course. So you can really go at, at your own pace. Okay, bye. Mwah. Love you. See you in my next vlog.